Hey guys, it's Nicola with Intimate Wisdom. So these readings will be for April the 9th through the 15th. Yeah, April the 9th through the 15th. I had to make sure on my calendar. Um, If you guys would like to book a read with me, you can do that through my website. Type in www.intimatewisdom.net. You guys can either book on the calendar and pay that way, or you can actually buy a personal video. For those of you that are wanting the 30-minute personal videos for $25, you will find those in the Shop Now section. If you would like to book a live phone read or video read with me, you can do that on the Book Now section. Um, If you guys would like instant access to me you can do that through instant go type in www.instantgo.com slash intimate wisdom to get to me you can also download that on your app store for my iphone ios users if you guys have not subscribed to my channel there's a little red button over there hit it for enjoy me. your readings y'all have a good hey one. aries so let's see what we got for april the 9th through the 15th messages for aries april the 9th through the 15th Aries, April the 9th through the 15th. What messages do we have for Aries? April the 9th through the 15th. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, first message we got, and you guys know this, this is an energy read, so I'm going to reshuffle last of these. I do six cards, and then I reshuffle. That's how I do my energy read. All right, so. Oh, that's six. That was six. Mm, mm, okay. Well, that makes sense that that would be a part of that. So as your underlying energy for this particular energy, we're talking about either some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius, or this talks about some type of long-term plans that you have or you're wanting to set. With the Knight of Swords, this does talk about something happening in a hurry. Mess maybe even finding out some type of messages in a hurry. I'm trying to see what else we got on here. Um, this could be messages heard within a hurry. Um messages coming in from somewhere they can be text message they can be through the mail this can be news of something coming very fast and this could be news of a job or an opportunity with the king of pentacles we're talking about some type of opportunity um this is talking about you having the energy to confidently confidently accept the opportunities that you're being offered this could be news about a taurus capricorn or virgo too so if you're dealing with the taurus capricorn or virgo you could be getting some news about them especially with this two of cups here so this does talk about some type of union um this can be news of good health for those of you that have because i got a feeling some of you guys especially with the star card and the two of swords here some of you guys may have had some type of health concerns so this could be good news dealing with that as well if this is a job we're talking about have confidence yes have confidence have confidence in yourself because for me to pull two kings, this is someone that has a lot of confidence in their abilities or needs to have a lot of confidence in their abilities because we're getting kind of, you know, I get some people worried about something with the two of swords, some people not seeing the truth of a situation or not seeing things clearly, not having clarity within their surroundings. So this could be you having an opportunity and maybe you're not seeing it, Aries. So make sure, you know, you're very in tune with yourself so you can know when these opportunities present themselves because I this is the feeling that I'm getting you're getting news of an opportunity maybe even news of a relationship or you know um some type of romantic relationship coming your way for some of you guys but for I think for the big majority of you guys this is a new opportunity that may be presenting itself in whatever shape or form it, it presents itself in your life this is you needing to focus kind of gain some clarity so that you can see the opportunity that's presenting itself. Some of you guys aren't trusting in your own vision or in your own sight. And I say that because a lot of these cards on the here are coming in reverse. And the, the cards that are coming in the reverse are mainly dealing with your own thoughts. You got the Seven of Cups here. So these are like um, options. You know, these is this is daydreaming about options, but it's in reverse. So this is like you've given up on your options. You're tired of waiting. Some of you guys aren't. You you may have been pushing for something and it may not have came or it may not have presented itself in the in the way that you thought it would. So you kind of gave up on something, but the opportunity either is still present or will represent itself to you. Some of you guys are just needed to trust your instincts, trust yourself. Um it may not seem like it's the way to go, but it is. I don't know how I'm, for those of you that I'm talking about too, you know what I mean when I say this is the way to go. All right, so let's put these up and see what other messages we got for Aries. What other energies are we picking up for Aries? April the 9th, April the 15th. 
Aries. April the 9th. Aries. Some of you guys are stuck. Some of you guys are stuck, Aries. We got the Five of Pentacles as an underlying energy, and under that we got the Five of Swords. So this does talk about some type of challenges, maybe even to, even dealing with money and a foundation, a job for some of you guys. This is definitely a job. Because for you to have complications dealing with your finances and your thoughts, this is you either stressing about a job, stressing about challenges you have within a job, or maybe some of you guys even feeling like you made a wrong choice. If you left a job recently, you may be feeling like that you made a wrong choice, and you may need to review your motives. I think for a lot of you, it's more about reviewing your motives because maybe the job that you have isn't meeting the needs that you have so maybe it's about trying to figure out why you're staying what's making you stay in the position that you're in because right under this we got the knight of pentacles this is someone who's who's basically a slow moving energy kind of not budging you know you there's some responsibilities that you need to handle and even though the knight of pentacles is a movement card it's a very slow movement so Maybe you're not honoring yourself in this situation and, and you're keeping yourself stuck in a situation that maybe you should get out of. For some of you, this is a job, like I said. But for some of you, this could be a relationship. I'm not pulling much relationship, but I am getting something that you're emotionally um, involved in or something that you nurture. So it could be a relationship. It could be a job. It could be um, some type of goal that you set for yourself. Let's pull. Let's see. We got the strength card. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo. But this is also about will, willpower and focus. Um, some of you guys may be needing to find the courage to take a leap of faith or the courage to actually do something. And I say that because the very next card we got is a full card. So this is the beginning to something. Some of you guys are needing to find the courage to do this, find the courage to take a leap of faith. You've been waiting for something to change, but movement is going to stop. Okay, whatever you've been waiting for, you're going to have to go after it. It's not coming to you. We got the Knight of, of, of Wands in reverse. Now, if it was like this, this is energy coming towards you. This is something that will require your attention. This is something that will require you to carefully think through an option. But because it's in reverse, for some of you guys, whatever energy that was coming towards you, whether it be good, whether it be bad, has stalled. And this may be due to you not moving not taking a leap of faith not actually moving forward maybe you're waiting um for the green light and if you are hello this is the green light like it's time to take a step forward but you got the nine of wands i mean yeah the nine of wands so this is someone who does not need to give up this is someone that needs to keep pushing keep persevering i said it right <laughs> y'all y'all know i can't talk so i feel good when i say words right we also got the Queen of Cups. So this does talk about opening your energy, making time for those people around you. This can also be you nurturing something. So this is about you nurturing yourself and you nurturing this situation, whether this is a job, whether this is a goal, whether it's just something that you've dreamed about and you want to make your dreams into a reality. Do not give up because with these cards, this is telling me that maybe you've given up, like you've given up your power in this position and it may be time to take your power back. So let's put these up and let's see what other messages we got for Aries. What other messages do we have for Aries? April 9th through the 15th. Messages for Aries. April 9th through the 15th. Ooh, Aries. 9th. So this is dealing with a marriage or either a commitment that some of you guys have already. This is a pre-existing condition. So, or am I, this could be health. Some of you guys, this could be health issues that we're dealing with. This could be dealing with a pregnancy, health issues with a pregnancy as well for some of you guys. I think it's a mm, couple of you guys. If this does not apply to you, because these are very specific cards and these cards I really believe are for a specific group of people. If this does not apply to you, Rewind back to your part or wait to the next part because not all of these energy messages will apply to everyone. This is like literally picking up energies from the collective consciousness. So 
this is dealing with the marriage with the three of cup i mean the three of pentacles right here this could be someone needing to cooperate with a within a marriage this could also be needing to work on your marriage work on the communication and i think this is communication with the two of swords here this does talk about lacking communication or not seeing eye to eye when we're talking about relationships so this could be a marriage two people not seeing eye to eye if not a marriage this is like either this is couple like you guys been together for a long time like you have some type of foundation under you you have some years under you or this is like um this this is this is a committed relationship this is this is i'm not talking to anyone single this is about a committed relationship you are needed to communicate with your partner you're needed to level with your partner a little bit with the moon card your partner could be a pisces or we could be talking about you guys searching for um clarity some of you guys are searching for clarity within a situation. You're searching for the truth about something. And it's like, that's definitely what you're searching for. Okay, so let me tell you what I pulled. So as the underlying energy for when we had the seven cups, so this does represent options. This represents daydreaming about options, options, the need to stop procrastinating. Literally, when you look at the seven of cups, you see seven cups full of stuff, just stuff, but nothing substantial. You know what I'm saying? This is like, all this stuff, it, it, it's it's temporary. There's nothing substantial here. But you're daydreaming about these things. Now, under that, we got the Knight of Swords. This does represent needing to find the truth of something or finding out something, finding out some type of information. With the Ace of Swords, we're talking about finding out more information. The Two of Cups and the High Priestess, this is something going on within a relationship that you aren't aware of. So some of you guys may just need to, be, need to communicate with your partner. There could be something that they're wondering or... They could be searching for the answers to something or either searching for some clarity in the relationship as well with you. You guys may need to just, I just think this is a lack of communication between you two. And maybe you guys need to could, need to just sit down and kind of have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Now, we got the Empress card here. So this does talk about something new starting. This can be a pregnancy. This can be birth. You may need to communicate about a pregnancy or about birth or about your relationship, taking your relationship to the next level. Because I think... For some of you guys, this is what's going on. Either you or your partner are wanting to take the relationship to the next level and someone's not seeing it because you're not communicating, you're not talking. This could, I'm not saying that that's what's happening, but it could very well be. I'm not sure because I'm not in your household, but it could very well be. Okay, with the King of Pentacles, this is talk about having the mightiest touch, okay? But the thing that I, I, I really want you to concentrate here, regardless of what these cards mean, we got a couple here. We got the King of Pentacles and the Empress, okay? We got someone who's hardworking, someone who um, is very business-oriented or just a very generous and, 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 how do I say, professional man. He's a generous man, though. He's nice. He's not mean. Like, he's not aggressive. The King of Pentacles is kind of a down-to-earth man. But then we got this woman here who's so full of love and maybe even a mother figure. So this could be a wife that's so full of love. And then we got the Seven of Pentacles here. So some you guys are either someone's tired of waiting, okay, in this relationship because the Seven of Pentacles will represent someone at a standstill, someone worried unnecessarily about something. Someone's tired of being at a standstill with this relationship. Someone wants to take it to the next level. Or, and I, I kind of think that's what it is. Someone wants to take it to the next level. Or someone's not seeing the benefit of being in this relationship. So this, either one of these situations could be, a, uh, either one of these situations are, to me, a definite need for you to communicate with your partner so that you guys can come to some type of common ground and figure out what it is that you really want in this relationship. So let's pull some love cards. What do we have? <laughs> All right, so... First card we got was keep an open mind. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. We also put love yourself first. So for some of you guys, you're needing to put that love into yourself first. Keep an open mind when you're dealing with other people, especially in Roman. If you're single, this is about just being open to different types of people, like not closing yourself off and not secluding your passions to one set, you know, um, type of person that you deal with. Like if you like um. You know, if you're a man and you like them thick with big boobs, maybe look at someone skinny with no boobs. If you're a dude, I mean, if you're um, a girl and you like them tall, dark and handsome, maybe look at, you know, the opposite. I don't know. Just keep an open mind. It may, you you know, you may be into rap and hip hop and they may be into country, but you guys could still have some common ground. So don't automatically close people off. You know, it could be black, white. 
who knows who cares all right so we got playfulness this does talk about recapturing moments it talks about allowing your inner youthful spirit to shine this could be more about just having fun and enjoying being in the relationship that you're in for some of you guys with love yourself first you could be in a relationship or maybe you're you feel like your desires aren't being met or you feel like that um your self-respect is being tested if that's the case make sure that you're putting yourself first make sure that you're really making your self-respect a priority into your relationship because your self-respect respect is important just as well as the person that you're with wants them to respect you and that's a very positive aspect of being in a, a, a healthy relationship is that the respect is mutual okay we got retreat it says it's time to disconnect from the world so for some of you guys you and your mate need to disconnect and reconnect with each other we got chemistry as an underlying energy so this is definitely talking about a strong magnetic attraction to someone um and also just pulled this could be the one so for some of you guys you are dealing with a situation where this person may be not what your usual type and expectations um make sure that you're holding your self-respect to high morals and you know high regard or whatever however you say it and then we got playfulness and retreat so this does talk about being more playful being more open like i said earlier and retreat talks about you and your partner disconnecting from the world this could be the one talks about you've already meeting the romantic partner you seek now if you are single if you are single there's someone that could be coming in that may be different than what you're used to may be different than what you're used to the advice that you get from this is to love yourself first. Make sure that you're being that you're showing your self respect. That means holding on to yourself and really it it don't mean don't have sex, okay? That's not what that means, okay? You do not lose self respect because you have sex. But it does mean to show to be the best version of yourself that you are we got playfulness and retreat so this could be taking a trip away this could just be you guys having fun and re and getting to know each other kind of connecting with with each other that means turning off your phone and really just kind of seeing how you interact with this person this could be the one now if this is a new person this could definitely be the one if you're already with someone this could be someone that you're already dealing with and it's just reiterating that this person could be the one that you're meant to be with or that you're supposed to be with at this time so let's pull from the goddess goddess so we can see what messages we have what messages do we have for aries first message it says you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected messages for aries we got sacred space it says create an altar or visit a powerful place to connect with the divine we got compassion it says release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone for some of you guys there's a need for you to heal past something you may need to take some time alone to meditate and kind of reset your body re-energize yourself okay we got focus and tension so for those of you that are trying to manifest things into your life make sure that you're being very focused and don't let your thoughts waver keep your keep your thoughts focused on your mark or however it go your underlying energy is peace it says there is no need to worry everything is working out beautifully so this is all i got for my aries if you guys have not subscribed please do so until next time y'all have a good night